What's up, nerds and nerdettes and wee little nerdlings all? It's your buddy, Big Johnny G, with Two Gun Pixie Presents Legendary Gaming. <laughs> and we are here with another unboxing. Another What's in the Pixies box. Oh, we're going to find out. This uh, wasn't a complete surprise to me. I knew it was coming. I just did not know when. And uh, it's appropriate. It came uh, it, because it just it just released after a successful kickstart. Yeah. And if you like family card games, you also like a little bit of a fantasy twist, a literature twist. Man, oh man, of shepherds, I got a game for you, my friends. Why don't you join me down the table, and I'm gonna tell you about Crazier Eights, A Thousand and One Nights. Crazier Eights. Uh, this is a uh, this is a card game that uh, was that I first came to the attention to it with Camelot, and me and the Twenty Sided Warriors really enjoyed this game. Uh, I know me and Ryan have played it a few times. Me and Steven have played it a few times. I'm not sure if I got this with Alex. Yeah, I think I think me and Alex did play this. I know me and Anthony haven't yet, but now we got a new one. We got a brand new one right here, fresh like I said off of a very successful Kickstarter, and now it is uh, it is available, and we're gonna take a look. Ooh, we're gonna take a look and see. What's inside this Pixie's box? <laughs> All right, yeah, Reconculus Games. James Gray is the mastermind. There we go. James Gray is the mastermind behind the Crazy Eight series. And he's kept us entertained and impressed. Not just with the game itself, but anyone that... uh has watched any of my earlier videos and any of the other Crazy Year 8 stuff knows that I completely fawn over this artwork. Yeah, now there's no gleam. Look at that. Nice. Okay, let's see. See, it says here. It says here, get me in focus. It says experience new stories with Aladdin, Alibaba, Princess Parazid and other famous characters from the Arabian Nights. Characters, places, and wonders from the Shahrazad stories come to life with the imaginative and unique cards. All right, now let's take a look at them. If I can get these open. I mean, notoriously have bad luck with card decks, boxes. Hey, right, that wasn't too bad. Okay, so we got our little mini rule book that you can't see because it's not in focus. There we go. Now this is a little bit bigger than I would have thought. 14 at the halfway point. Playing on teams. Oh, that's a cool variant. Okay. You got to get this opened up. Infernal Ifrit. Probably from the fabled city of brass. There we go. I didn't want to pull too hard. Oh, the cards seem nice. There we go. Get that out of the way. We don't need that. All right. Linen finish is, feels nice and looks good. There we go. Quick and simple. Very cool. And the rest of these is just the deck to play with. So this deck is good up to what is it? Four. Yeah, two to four players. Two to four players. I'm gonna have to uh, shuffle through these once or twice just to make sure that they're not all sticking together. See, so you get some of these cards. This is what makes it different than than regular crazy eights. 
is the, the stories and the abilities that are on these cards. Let the asset cards get played out in front of you. And like this particular one says, if that ain't closer for you, my friends, you may only play Infernal Ifrit from your hand if an opponent controls two or more assets. At the end of each player's turn, destroy an asset of your choice that's in play on the table. That's pretty cool. See, in other cards here are events. Magic Diamond, draw two cards. Then put any two cards from your hand on the bottom of the discard pile. So they're not going to affect, they're not going to affect color or suit. It's just like a game of Crazy Eights or Uno. You got to get the cards out of your hand until you got no cards in your hand. And that's how you win. And you got to get rid of them by discarding to match the color, the number, or the suit on the discard pile. Let's see, here's another uh, event that is not in focus. Take a look at this one. Traumatic experience. An opponent draws a card. Dun, dun, dun. Pretty cool. Island fish. Oh, look at that. The island looks like a fish. You may discard two additional cards during your turn. At the end of your turn, if you discard more than one card this turn, an opponent of your choice gains control of Island Fish. I do not know the stories of the Thousand and One Arabian Nights very well at all, outside of uh, Sinbad and the Rock and Alibaba, and that's about it. <laughs> The Priceless Jewel. Draw four cards and put any four cards from your hand on the bottom of the discard pile. Demise. Choose up to one asset controlled by each opponent. Destroy the chosen asset. Oh, pretty, pretty hardcore. Let's move forward and look at a little more. I don't need to show you each and every card. Ancient Palace, an asset. You may discard two additional cards during your turn, and each opponent may discard an additional card during their turn. Helps you, helps them. Do you want to help them? Do you need to help yourself? That's the choice you got to make when you go play these cards. Look at this artwork. See, this is what I was saying. This artwork is immaculate. It's beautiful. And, you know, uh, and I've said this before, in tabletop games that look really great, even the ones that are bad, and this game certainly is not, but even bad games, if they look beautiful, you don't mind playing them, putting them on the table, looking at them. And then you take a game like this, which is really fun, and it's a great game. It's a great gateway game because it's so familiar. People uh, people instinctively know it because just about everyone I I've ever met knows either Uno or Crazy Eights. So you have the basis of the rules right there in your head. Great family game. It can even be a good filler game if you just got two people and you're playing real quick, you know, uh, you each know the game real fast. You can get through a single hand pretty quick while you're waiting for some friends to uh, to commence the big epic board game or RPG you're playing. And this is so small, actually, this makes a pretty good gift. So those are the cards. That is everything that you get. You got to see an unboxing that get turned into a boxing. Get everything back in here. The rules. Get them that way. And it won't hit the flap. There you go. Your boxing. You're unboxing and boxing all in one of Reconculus's Crazy Rates 1001 Nights. This is a really fun series. I uh, can't wait for me and the 27 Warriors to play it and give you our review. Uh, so look forward to some more videos coming up on Crazy Rates 1001 Nights. I'm your buddy Big Johnny G. Just here to say thank you for checking us out on Facebook, on Instagram, and Twitter. Thank you so much for subscribing to us here on YouTube. Thank you for liking and commenting, and thank you so much for sharing our videos. I hope you come back. Hope you enjoyed the show. If so, hit that bell. 
All right, I am cracking my voice. I'm out of here.